Personal development books are still the most popular kind of audiobooks, but why would you pay for them if you can get them for free? Most people don't realize how easy it is to get free audiobooks these days. But I don't want you to waste money on audiobooks that you could potentially get for free, so in this video I'm gonna break down for you how to get access to self-help audiobooks for free. And the first platform that you can utilize for that is Spotify. Spotify is one of those platforms that people think of when they think of listening to music or possibly podcasts, but very few are aware how many audiobooks are available on Spotify. But if you are a little bit clever about it, you can actually gain access to a lot of free audiobooks there, including a bunch of great self-help books. The way I go about it is that I simply go to Spotify and I type in the name of the audiobook I'm currently looking for. So let's say we want to listen to one of the most popular self-help books of the last year, Atomic Habits by James Clear. If I type that in and I scroll through the search results, I very quickly get results that seem to be the full version. And yes indeed, if I then click on it, I can see that this is indeed more than 300 minutes long, making it a full version of the self-help book. Now of course that doesn't work for every single audiobook you might be interested in, but you will be surprised how many great self-help audiobooks you will be able to find on Spotify. It is a truly amazing resource, especially if you're interested in books that were released rather recently, so they might not be available anywhere else. If however you are interested in audiobooks of self-help classics, I have just the right platform for you. This one is called learnoutloud.com. It is a website for all kinds of audio resources, from audiobooks to podcasts, and it has a lot to offer. As you can see on the top, they already have a category called free stuff. And if you click on that, it takes you straight to an overview of free audiobooks. Now the cool thing about this overview is that it's already sorted by most popular. And as you can see, the top of the list is one of the most popular self-help books of all times. It is Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich. But then if you scroll down a little bit further, you find other self-help classics like for example The Art of Public Speaking by Dale Carnegie or The Secret. And truth be told, this is really just the tip of the iceberg. You can also find As a Man Thinketh by James Allen on this list or for example The Autobiography of Benjamin Franklin, which is really a must read for anyone interested in personal development and self-help. And as if that wasn't enough already, on the left hand side of this website you find a section called self-development. Now if you click on that, that takes you to a different page which lists more featured free self-development titles, which includes A-list names like Tony Robbins, Tim Ferriss or Oprah Winfrey. Quite honestly, when seeing all these fantastic options, I wonder why people would still pay for audiobooks. Because if you know where to look, there are so many great free resources available. And if you think that what I shared here so far is great, then wait until you see all the other great resources that I still want to share with you in this video. But first, I want to ask you for a quick favor. If you feel like you get some value out of this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out a lot and it makes it possible for me to make videos like this in the future. All right, let's move on to resource number three to get free self-help audiobooks. And this one is YouTube. YouTube is a great platform for a bunch of different reasons, but one of them is that you can easily find free audiobooks here. Now the thing of course is that YouTube is very careful to make sure that copyright doesn't get infringed on their platform. So you certainly won't find every single self-help audiobook on YouTube, but there are still a lot of people who are eager to upload them to the platform and make it available to all of us. And basically what that means for you is that you have to check more frequently if there is a new audio book available, especially if you're looking for a particular one, and you oftentimes have to be rather quick to listen through it because YouTube might take them down at some point if they infringe copyright. So let's say for example we want to listen to Jocko Willing's Extreme Ownership. For that we simply would type in the title and add audiobook. And as you can see at the very top of the list you can actually find a full length audiobook version of that great book. As you can also see though the upload is only four days old so it might be taken down at some point. If you want to play it safe though, of course you can search for self-help audiobooks that don't have copyright anymore, but instead are public domain. And there are a wide variety of great ones of those as well. One that I particularly liked was for example Dale Carnegie's How to Win Friends and Influence People, definitely one of the all-time great self-help books. By now I have already given you a bunch of great resources to get access to free self-help audiobooks, but wait, there is more. The next one on our list 
Resource number four is called Overdrive.com. And Overdrive.com is great for a bunch of different reasons, the main one being that it is directly connected to your local library. I know, I know, nowadays nobody really goes to the library anymore. It's sort of an antiquated system, but unjustly so. Libraries are actually a really cool system because they can give you access to millions of free books and audiobooks. And if you have a library card at your local library, chances are that they collaborate with Overdrive.com, which would in turn give you access to all of their audiobooks entirely for free. All you have to do is search for your local library on overdrive.com and it will give you the entire catalog of that library. You then can easily listen to their audiobooks either on your phone or on your laptop and you can even download them. All of that entirely for free. What's more is that while Overdrive is most popular in the US, it's not limited to the US. If you for example live in the UK, you can most likely find your local library in the overview of Overdrive as well. And while it is true that you need to do a little bit of work in advance by signing up for a library card, I really feel like it's worth it. You would miss out on so much if you don't take advantage of this great opportunity. And talking of great opportunity, I made another video in the past where I talk about how to gain access to almost any audiobook you could imagine entirely for free. If that sounds interesting to you, check it out right up here. Alright, we have reached resource number 5 on our list of full length audiobooks about self help. And this one might be the most obvious of them all, it is Audible. Of course everyone who is interested in audiobooks knows about Audible. It is the most popular audiobook app available worldwide, it is owned by Amazon and it has by far the widest catalog of available audiobooks. So literally any self-help book that you can possibly think of and want to listen to, you can find on Audible. Of course there is a catch though and that is that Audible naturally is not for free. You do have to pay a monthly fee and that might be fine for some of you, but most of you I assume are looking for audiobooks for free, just like I am. And the way you can accomplish that with Audible and can avoid paying is that you take advantage of the 30 day free trial. By using that trial you can gain access to their entire audiobook library, listen to as much as you want and then if you cancel it on time you don't have to pay a dime. Of course this trick is a little bit sneaky, but but hey, if Amazon offers this option, I think it's fair to take advantage of it. And that completes the list of resources that you can use right now to gain access to free self-help audiobooks. I do hope that this was beneficial for you and if it was, then I have another video for you right up here where I talk about the best self-help books of all times. Maybe it gives you a couple of inspirations on what books you want to look for first. Hopefully I see you in the next video.